Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, welcome. And of course, if you are back, welcome back. Today, you guys, if you couldn't guess from this mountain of kits in front of us, I have a giant haul of an unboxing to share with you today. This is actually my haul of kits that I purchased from Diamond Art Club's Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. And if you couldn't tell from looking at this, it they had my number. I was in trouble, particularly with Cyber Monday. And um, and so I just, I have all these kits in and I thought I really wanna take a look, see where some of these special drills are, see what they look like. Uh, and so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me for the ride. Now I did unbox as sneak peeks a number of other kits for Black Friday and Cyber Monday that were also really my taste, but these are still ones that I, I had to have and so I picked these up. Now I know that you might be here to see an unboxing of one particular kit or something like that. I'm gonna do my best to uh, put a list of timestamps down in the description box below this video so that it that should make it pretty easy to skip ahead to if there is a particular kit you're wanting to look at. Now I I'm going to um, just with the very, very first kits where I'm going to go over just a really quick look at the basics of what the different features are of a typical Diamond Art Club kit, but I'm not going to repeat that for every every single kit that we go through. Otherwise, we'll be here for quite a while. As it is, I think that uh, we're going to we're gonna be settling in for a bit, so feel free to grab a cup of coffee and a snack and or craft along in the background, and we'll get into it. So I will also link to... Um, the unboxings and sneak peeks that I did for Black Friday and Cyber Monday already if you are wanting to see my other unboxings that I've done for any of those particular kits. So um, how should we go about doing this, you guys? All right. We will just start from the top. I'm just going to kind of grab for kits that really sort of strike my fancy. And just because it's really easy, it's right here. We're going to start off with Ghost Cafe by Stephanie Marie. And this is actually uh, the first kit that we're seeing from this artist at Diamond Art Club. And I've been seeing her kits in voting for a while and have been eagerly waiting <laughs> for one of them to actually make an appearance. And here we go, this is the first one. So uh, 60 by 75 centimeters, square shaped diamonds, and looks like it's gonna be incredibly adorable. So as far as what's on the boxes, there is some info on the back about how to diamond paint and your kit contents written out for you. And there is a QR code on the side you can scan for 10% off your purchase. Um, now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase, I do have an affiliate code you're welcome to use that is just my name, Katie, K-A-T, and the number K-A-T-I-E. Did I just misspell my own first name? Yeah, I think I might have. Here we are. Um, <laughs> K-A-T-I-E and the number 20. That saved you 20% off your first purchase. So no no pressure at all to use that whatsoever. You're gonna see some different discount codes um, in the course of this unboxing. There's others floating around out there. If you shopped Cyber Monday and Black Friday, you probably took advantage of one of the really good discount codes that Diamond Art Club was running uh, for the Black Friday weekend. Um, let's take a look. So like I said, just for this kit, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do, give you a really quick look at the toolkit. Maybe for the others, I'll at least pull it out to look at the cover minders, because I know some people like to see what cover minders come with the kits, but I was gonna try to keep it, keep it zippy here. You are going to get a pen and squishy. The color on this is going to vary. You're also gonna get some thin plastic multi-placers. You can pop those in the end of your pen and try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time if you like to. And then we have some wax. There is a thin plastic film on here. You wanna make sure you peel that off, peel that up or off before you try to actually load up your pen. And then we've got a tray with a stopper that you can pop in and out to help stop the diamonds from sliding out. We've got a pair of tweezers. The tweezers only come with the kits that have square shaped diamonds, not the round ones, with diamond art clubs anyway. The, the tip is, the tips are pretty sharp, so you wanna keep that cover on when you're not using them. Then we have a bag of baggies, which you can use to store leftover diamonds in or kit up into. And then you're gonna get a roll of washi tape. The print will vary on this. And I have a video demoing how, why, where, when to use washi tape in a diamond painting if you like. And then we're gonna have a cover minder and the style on this will vary. We've got a little green macaron here. Macaron, macaroon, <laughs> and there are magnets on the back. You can use that to hold back the plastic cover while well, you're diamond painting. So that is the toolkit. Everything is gonna be pretty well the same uh, from kit to kit as far as the toolkit goes. The only thing that's gonna vary is the washi tape print and the cover minder print and, and your pen and squishy color. Um, you're also going to get with every kit this smaller sticker. I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. 
I like that it has the uh, stats in the picture and whatnot, and some people put this on the side of their box to help organize their stash as well. Everything else is gonna be included in here. All right, so this one is a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, look at those beautiful muted colors. That's my color palette. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing. Stop it, look at the little ghosties. That's adorable, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you are gonna get a pamphlet with each of your kits. Again, I'm not gonna show this every time, uh, but it's gonna have your kit contents, a beginner video, link to the VIP Facebook group, which is a handy resource, some step-by-step -step instructions written out, as well as some tips and tricks, yet another discount code, and QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app on your device. And then you'll also get a larger sticker sheet. There is the title, again, this is Ghost Cafe by Stephanie Marie. A spot to write your start and end date, and there's that original artwork. There's the stats again. And then over here, we have a set of pre-cut stickers, and in the right-hand side, this column, the color code, that is the DMC color code. Uh, it comes from the DMC brand of floss and most diamond painting companies use this system. Diamond Art Club though has a couple of special things about it. So first, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. And then if you look at the end, sometimes you'll see some codes that have letters at the beginning. In this case we have four. <laughs> so here we have one that starts with the letter K. That's going to be a special drill called an electro diamond or one that has a metallic sheen. The ones that have Z in the front are going to be fairy dust diamonds, and then the one with the L in the front is going to be an iridescent or crystal effect diamond. I'm going to show you all of those special drills when we're actually looking at the diamonds, um, but first let's just take a really quick look at this canvas. Uh, features, as far as features go with Diamond Art Club's canvases, we have their branding at the top, Do It Makes Your Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished, and the backing is really soft, and they have this clear plastic cover over poured glue. Now they have started phasing in a perforated plastic cover. It doesn't appear to be on this kit, but I wonder if it'll be on some of the others. I just showed it in a recent unboxing, uh, sneak peek unboxing video, um, that it's, it's a nice new feature that they've added. So <laughs> you're gonna have the color list up here at the top left, as well as on the bottom right. And then, oh my gosh, even look like the wheels are cute. This looks adorable. Uh, we have the title and the size and then licensing information. So this, this copyright symbol here means that this piece has been legally licensed by Diamond Art Club from the artist, which means that they've given permission and are being compensated for the use of their artwork. And that's super important to me. All of Diamond Art Club's artwork is licensed from the artist. We have their socials here. That's where you stay up to date with their new releases and whatnot. And then info about their lifetime warranty. So as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. And um, you can see, I think they have all the details on the website. Looking at the canvas, you can see that the printing is really clear on these symbols. We have these just ridiculously adorable ghosties. <laughs> And then these fun little details like on, on her shelves. Look at her face. I mean, it is pretty stylized in the original artwork. Um, and I do find that it does look better once, faces do look better once there are actually diamonds on the canvas. And then here's this pretty umbrella with the ghosty peeking over the side. <laughs> so cute there is a good amount of color blocking in here you guys color blocking is when you have lots of the same color in a small area like right here um, and then the pinks and the umbrella this symbol here and so you'll be able to use a multi-placer and have that color in your tray for longer there are some areas with confetti too though like kind of in her face and hair um, some of the areas over here Conf uh, confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area and you'll be using a single placer and we have confetti when we want to get more detail so that is adorable now let's take a look at these diamonds um i think maybe i won't necessarily go through every color in every kit but i just want to at least find the special diamonds in this one and take a look okay so i think i'm going to do it this way for sake of time okay so here is our first special diamond you guys um 129 that's a pale yellow and is an AB diamond, and AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these are named after the Northern Lights. They have a really pretty iridescent coating on the top that is going to really dry your eye to the areas that it has been charted and has a really pretty and bold effect. Right next to it, I do see, this is a fairy dust diamond. Let me zoom you in. 
Okay, so if you look at these, these actually have a glitter coating on the top. Actually, a little AB snuck in there. That's really funny. Um, there's a glitter coating brushed on the top of these. That gives them a subtle shimmery effect. They're actually my favorite kind of special drill that Diamond Art Club has. And this one is Z3856. And then I see here's another AB diamond. They're kind of a minty green AB. That is really fun. Then I think I'm worried about missing the other fairy dust colors because those are more subtle, generally speaking. I just didn't want to have to pull out all of these diamonds because then <laughs> we would be here a while. Um, here is another AB color, 141. It's a pretty white AB. Here we go. Here is our Elector Diamond K444. And this one has, like I said, kind of a metallic effect. This one's a gold metallic. I am just going to grab these because I want to find that you know here it is okay so L5200 this is an iridescent diamond and it has a crystal effect so that mirrored flat side is going to sit on the canvas and cover up the symbol and then um it's like a clear crystal effect almost like a mirror <gasps> love it okay so we found the ABs there was just one fairy dust color that we didn't find here it is Okay, so this is our other fairy dust color. It's kind of a pale ivory. All right. As far as where we're going to find those on the canvas. So, um, okay, so our ghosts are made up of white ABs. That is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Um, the wagon wheel spokes have white ABs in them. And... Um, I'm seeing some of that kind of pale ivory fairy dust down here, kind of on the ground. And where are those electros and crystals and iridescence going to be? There were just a tiny handful of the electro diamonds. Is it? Oh, it's in her glasses, you guys. That is so cute. Oh, hello, glare. Okay, her glasses. And like the necklace holding her glasses here, those are those are where the electric di electro diamonds are, the gold metallics. That is adorable. Okay, and then the iridescent, the kind of clear crystal mirror looking ones are gonna be the str the lights and the strand of lights hanging right here. That's cute. That's super cute. And then I see the mint AB is kind of over here it's that light green color and there's a little bit up here too and then the kind of peachy fairy dust is these peachy bunches of colors up here and here and here Ooh, that's cute that's super super cute i love that yeah the flowers these different peachy flowers have the peach fairy dust in them so cute okay you guys i i know i kind of breezed right through that and this was the longer version of one of these <laughs> kits being unboxed uh but this this is how we're just gonna this will be snapshot unboxings this is ghost cafe by the art of stephanie marie and i'm gonna kind of pack this up real quick and i'm gonna grab our next kit okay so next up we have catch me by mrs butter d and this one is so cute i love the colors in mrs butter d's artwork and i of course i just i couldn't resist this one it's absolutely adorable uh so this one's gonna have round shaped diamonds and it's gonna be 55.8 by 70.6 centimeters i've actually seen a couple of people working on this particular kit already and it is turning out just as beautifully as i feel like we've kind of come to expect mrs butter d's work to turn out from diamond art club so so this is this I believe I saw someone say that the character in this piece is actually the same character that's in artist room which is another piece by this artist from diamond art club um, and that yeah the gal that's in this one is the same so I will take a really quick look at the cover minder to show you guys see what we got okay so we got the tulips cover minder and then some floral washi tape that's the surprise the surprises of this particular toolkit there's that smaller logbook sticker let's get a look at this canvas and all of its gorgeous colors all right so look at that pinks oh my gosh i love the cat just chilling at the vending machine like okay which one of these is going to be for me <laughs> All right, oh my gosh, don't the colors just make you so happy? 
Oh my gosh, I love it. Tons of color blocking in the background you can see. And so this would kind of go relatively quickly. Actually tons of color blocking even like on the vending machine too. I'll tell you what, that's gonna look so good. The details and the, the confetti are really in what's going on in the vending machine here. And like, oh, on the back of her backpack, I love like the little pins and stuff. But yeah, she's got the same like pink hair and undercut and everything that the gal, I believe in artist room does. So, so cute. This one I feel like would be a pretty beginner friendly kit, just given, given the size and all the color blocking. Here's the sticker sheet and the original artwork. And this has 50 colors. One, two, three, four fairy dust colors. <laughs> four fairy dust colors and one AB. So even just look at the colors in the color list and then look at these diamonds. Aren't those so happy? It's like, it's like you could eat them. <laughs> like they're sherbet. They just look delicious. I'd like to at least pull out the special drills. Let's see. That's a fairy dust color. It's kind of a chartreuse green. Z165. And then big bags of that pink color. Is that? No, that's not. This is one way to get give you guys a look at the colors without <laughs> pulling them all out. Um, I spy, that's like a grayish, there's a hint of purple to that almost. Maybe it's purples or not, that's Z3743. And then, I'm like checking to make sure I don't blink and miss the fairy dust in any of these. There's our AB, it's a really pale peach. And then, there it is, 3865, a white fairy dust. Ooh, there's a ton of that white fairy dust. Nice, okay, let's see where those special drills are gonna go. So as far as symbols go, okay, four different fairy dusts to check for. So the chartreuse fairy dust, that kind of greenish yellow, is here and here. And then actually the white fairy dust, you guys see how there's a white outline around this whole piece? That is all white fairy dust. And the sprinkling of white in the background is white fairy dust as well. There's also parts of this that have highlights of white fairy dust, like here the side of our cat. Um, the outline's kind of in between her legs here. The arrow is outlined in white fairy dust. Okay, the letter H. This is that like, I think grayish. No, 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 no. That was the other fairy dust. Was it blue? And let's say the grayish one, the grayish almost purple one is right here. And oh, oh, the backs of her jeans have that kind of bluish purple or that light blue fairy dust here and here. And okay, again, with the white fairy dust outlining along here. Where is the pink AB? That's what I am curious to see. And I feel like I haven't seen it yet. There's a little bit of the chartreuse fairy dust right here. And there's bits of the white fairy dust in here as well. Um, okay, in her hair, we have that pale peach AB. There's some highlights of it here and here. And catch. And the letter M over here. That's all the peachy AB as well. There's a little bit of it right here, the peach AB, and right here. And then the sparkles. This is all white fairy dust, as are these lines here and the sparkle here. And again, the sprinkling in the background, the white dots you see, that is all white fairy dust as well. That is just gonna make this shimmer, and I feel like all those fairy dust colors are just gonna elevate this that much more. <laughs> And it's going to be so dreamy and so incredibly pretty. So this was Catch Me uh, by Mrs. Butter D and has round drills. And again, I feel like it's a nice, really beginner friendly kit. All right, pack this up and let me grab the next one. All right, so here we now have Satura by Margaret Morales. And this is actually, don't mind the black cat fur glitter <laughs> that gets everywhere. I have a black cat. Um, this is one of Margaret Morales' debut kits with Diamond Art Club. And I actually, I unboxed and completed one of the others already, but I went ahead and picked up the other two because they just were so gorgeous. And I'm so excited that Margaret Morales is the Diamond Art Club 
I just, I had to have them. This is absolutely stunning. I think it was maybe the most popular from what I saw of the Margaret Morales releases and sold out. I think maybe it was the first kit to sell out for Cyber Monday. Anyway, this is going to have square shaped diamonds, 55.8 by 86 centimeters, and it just looks incredibly, incredibly dreamy. So I, I think I've seen some people go ahead and start this one as well, which is which is fun to see. Um, I feel like this has been one of the most highly anticipated artists at Diamond Art Club um, in, that we've had in a while. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see what else may be coming. But for now, I'm going to be just thrilled that we got um, three, three releases from this artist uh, all, all at once to start. So, all right let's this this box feels very full like very stuffed full and so i wonder if this is going to be tricky uh, to get back in here later we will we will find out yeah it feels like a thick bag of drills <laughs> my goodness all right so here's the logbook sticker for this one just look at those colors and i feel like you know witches aren't necessarily just like relegated to halloween i feel like you can work on those kits year round that's just me. Okay. We have okay, a roll of wash tape with some kind of leaves on it. And the cover minder is just another green macaron. Alrighty. Toolkit surprises of, of this kit. And then let's get into let's take a look at this canvas. <laughs> I watched the unboxing, the sneak peek unboxing for this one. And it was absolutely stunning, but I feel like it's still not gonna compare to seeing it in person. Oh my gosh, just right away. Look at those colors. Look at the rendering. I'll tell you what, after doing Dragon Spirit, who said Diamond Art Club couldn't do a soft watercolor rendering? Not me. <laughs> was I a little concerned to see how it was going to turn out? Yeah, a little bit. Am I thrilled with how it turned out? You bet. <laughs> All right, you guys. So there she is. We have the beautiful Satura and oh my those colors look at her face like that's what we're talking about with skin tones that is how you do beautiful skin tones justice it looks so amazing amazing so with this kit you guys we are going to have 71 colors which means we have enough colors we get two sticker sheets there is a nice big look at the original artwork and then Look at the render, like that's incredible. Just the rendering in the background. Um, again, this has square diamonds, 55.8 by 86 centimeters. It's a pretty good size, it's a little bit bigger. Um, again, we have those 71 colors. It looks like we're gonna have one, two, three, four, four fairy dust and one electro diamond and two ABs in this one and lots of colors, like I said. Uh, we're actually also gonna have a color in the 6000s range, which is the, the color range that Diamond Art Club is basically creating to fill gaps in the DMC color code. It's, um, I almost said Target, <laughs> like Diamond Art Club is Target, what? No, um, it's just something that Diamond Art Club is able to do because they create all of their diamonds in-house. So uh, let's see if we can find those special drills. I feel like virtually every kit from Diamond Art Club is coming with fairy dust diamonds now. <laughs> it just seems like that's become a staple and I'm not, I'm not mad at it at all. Uh, so I do see, okay, our first fairy dust color. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like a pastel green, pastel mint green. And then I see an AB here that's just like kind of a magenta pink. And then... See, I'm trying not to unroll, unpack this whole thing of diamonds because I will never get it back to where it was. I know, I see those electro diamonds up there. We'll get there. We'll get there. I won't forget about them. Don't worry. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I guess, giving you a look at the colors a little bit. A little bit. Um, some greens and purples and browns. Ooh, is that a fairy dust? <gasps> I love that. That's a really nice light purple fairy dust. It's subtle. There is our Electro Diamond. <gasps> Big bag of that gold Electro. I bet they're gonna be in the stars that she's holding, if I had to guess. If I had to guess. How many ABs? We're supposed to have two. Oh, we saw the, the other AB. Here's the 125. It's like a pale minty aqua AB. I feel like I missed a fairy dust color. Do you guys, I think I see it. Yep, okay. It's more beige, 
peachy beige. It's looking really yellow in camera. Oh, and then there's this one right here. There's actually a couple of fairy dust. That one's kind of a yellowy. And this one is more of a peach. It's a bigger bag of peach fairy dust. This one, okay. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. This is the big challenge is find all of the special trolls in these kits. All right, so the letter T, that was that really pretty pastel green fairy dust. It's highlighting in some of the plants here and here. And I see that pale blue AB. There's chunks of it here in her sleeves. And what symbols am I looking for here? T and then the purple triangle. We have the pale purple, the pastel purple fairy dust is in parts of her sleeves as well. And I see the pale purple over here too. Right here, you guys. What is she holding? Is this like on her bodice? Okay, so lots of that gold electrometallic in here. Actually, I missed it. The sparkles that are down here, these gold sparkles, that is all the gold metallic uh, electro diamond. And then we have some of that aqua AB down here. We are also going to have, you guys, um, the more yellowy fairy dust. There's tons of it in her palm here. And then, yeah, these stars are the electro diamonds. And then we have um, this color, the one that I was just pointing out and saying was pale yellow fairy dust is the pale peach fairy dust. The pale yellow fairy dust is kind of highlighting on her fingers, on the underside of this hand, these fingers too, and a little bit of like the light and magic that's in here. And there's a little bit of the pale peach fairy dust along her finger. Then we've got so many special drills. Um, do we have, where is that red AB gonna go? Uh, this star and this star and this accent piece on her top here are the all gold electro diamonds. The insides of her, uh, like this, this eye makeup here is the pink magenta AB. There's dots of it on this eyelid too. Yeah, it's, there's only a little bit of that particular color. So I'm not surprised there's not a lot of <laughs> a lot of that. And then her hair, you guys, we have tons and tons of that pale peach fairy dust that is just gonna give her hair some shimmer. It's kind of all throughout her hair and that's gonna be really gorgeous. We also have more of the blue AB, the blue aqua, kind of through some of these swirls of magic in the background. We come up to the top. This moon and this star are the gold electro diamonds. We have some of the pale lavender fairy dust here. We have blue AB in the sparkles over here and weaving through here. And I'm guessing that I may be overlooking some of that pale, like that pastel. Yeah, there's some of the pastel green fairy dust in here as well. So that was kind of a long overview of, of some of the special drills in this kit, but I feel like she just, she really needed to be done justice that way. So uh, this is Satura by Margaret Morales, and I'm going to pack her up and grab the other Margaret Morales kit that I picked up. And here we have Anahime by Margaret Morales, and uh, I just, I, you know... <laughs> It's Margaret Morales. I had to get this one. This is going to have square shaped diamonds, 55.8 by 70.7 .7 centimeters and lots of reds in this one. I feel like each of the releases kind of from Margaret Morales had sort of different color themes. <laughs> Dragon Spirit had lots of blues. Uh, this one has lots of reds and Satara had lots of kind of greens. So that's, you know, just an observation. <laughs> uh, let's take a quick peek. In this kit, we've got another floral washi tape and yet another green macaron. I'm not going to pull that one out. <laughs> Barely, that is the, the toolkit of the hour. Here's our smaller sticker sheet. I feel like the further we get into this haul, the more I'm going to skim over stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Otherwise, I think this is just going to be, this is going to be a fun adventure read long uh, video. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at those reds. Oh, that's so bold and striking. Talk about a 
showstopper. She is gorgeous. All right, let's look and see. Here's the original artwork. Can't just that rendering, that rendering though, um, I feel like some of the symbols here that are darker are making this appear darker than the colors are actually going to be when they're down. Speaking of colors, looks like we're gonna have 69 colors in this one and one AB, a red AB, another gold metallic Electro Diamond. And then what looks like kind of a peachy orange fairy dust and a blue fairy dust as well. So let's see if we can find those those special drills or here you've got just so you can see actually see the whole canvas here there's that so here's the color spread you guys lots of reds and oranges we have two bags i see of our red ab this cherry red ab um let's see if i can find that gold electro has got to be in here somewhere. Oh, there we go, you guys. That's a really pretty, it's almost like a terracotta. Kind of brownish orange fairy dust color. The other one should be kind of a bluish fairy dust color. Right there, there's our blue fairy dust. And then that gold metallic electro, K444. Awesome. Not too bad, not too bad. And then as far as where we're gonna find those, remember we had those two big bags of red ABs and we're gonna find those, looks like highlighting all throughout the ribbons around her. Actually, a lot of the reds in this painting, I'm seeing it here, I'm seeing it everywhere in the reds. It's really looking like it's gonna be in lots of those different areas. I see the blue fairy dust over in this area there's some of it down here there's some of it as well um, and a little bit over here and that kind of terracotta orangish brown color i see some of it in here and this kind of it's the lighter color you're seeing over here as well as through this ribbon just an overall really shimmery effect and then here uh what looks like brown it's a brownish golden camera that's where we're going to find the gold electro diamond um just weaving throughout this is this part of her clothes or i don't know the the proper names for these the, her wardrobe but so i'm not gonna you know pretend i do <laughs> i'll just kind of show you then then again we have some more of the gold electro here and again red abs there's red abs over here just red abs everywhere <laughs> absolutely everywhere um we are going to find let's see um some blue fairy dust right here actually some blue fairy dust back here and in other parts highlighting in her hair some of the blue fairy dust tons of red abs again again where you're seeing the red a the red that like all this red ab just oodles and oodles of red abs there's some up here as well and then there's more of kind of that terracotta brownish orange fairy dust color in here and here as well as here and a little bit over here and kind of all throughout kind of the top section too it's this brownish orange color you see um, and a little bit of the blue fairy dust in here. And again, just, it's the number one is the red AB. <laughs> just, just tons of it, absolutely tons of it. Uh, so that's where you're gonna find the special drills and the absolutely beautiful Onohime by Margaret Morales. So let me grab the next kit. Now, if you're a Sarah Mustafa fan, I feel like Cyber Monday and Black Friday just they had your number. Uh, there were a number of different kits by this artist that released and I picked up three of them. And this one is called Peculiar and is uh, by Sarah Mustafa, of course, and it's gonna have round shaped diamonds, 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters. And I've completed a couple of kits from Sarah Mustafa by Diamond Art Club and I feel like they do turn out really, really well for her art style and everything. It's very, it's very soft and it just, um, it has a really pretty, finished look to it. I feel like they do a really nice job with it. Um, as far as this toolkit, ooh, we've got floral washi tape and then kind of a, it's a dolphin cover minder. Here we go. Something different from the green macarons. <laughs> Here is the smaller logbook sticker. And I feel like this one's gotta have like a lot of neutrals in it, right? Let's take, let's take a peek. Okay. Ooh, so we get to start up at the top this time. Oh, look at her cute face. 
there's also kind of like yellows and browns there but i like when you even through the camera it looks really nice <gasps> she's so cute oh my goodness okay here is the original artwork again there's the render it must be kind of just like a shine on her lip or the effect of the like just the printing so i was like her mouth's not open in here um anyway you guys uh this the colors we're gonna have oh my goodness one two three four five ab's in this kit that's so funny because i don't look at this and think oh it's gonna have ab <laughs> that many ab's but i'm, I'm okay with it then we're gonna have one fairy dust color in this one. And as far as just kind of giving you a kind of a look at the canvas, looks like a good amount of color blocking, like in the backgrounds especially. And there she is. Yeah, Sarah Mustafa's artwork has kind of this like it plays with light and has kind of this reflective quality, especially in their hair. And I like how they turn out. I, I do. Here's the color spread. But let's give you a better look at it. Five ABs though. I have to say, definitely was not expecting that. But lots of browns and neutrals in this one, kind of like I was expecting. Yeah, here. Oh, here's two of them. You guys, we have the tangerine orange and kind of an indigo blue. And I see another one, a gray, kind of a grayish AB. There's our fairy dust. Ooh, it's like a bubblegum pink. 3608, nice. Here's a white AB here. Okay, yeah, kind of an orangish red, 103. All right, so let's find where those ABs and that fairy dust are gonna go. Okay, so that bubblegum pink fairy dust, is not in frame um, there's a lot of it here through the bottom and then the white you're seeing that is white ab and let's see that kind of orangish color ab is right here Ooh, is this it is i was like i'm feeling a texture you guys this is one of the ones that has a perf the new perforated cover on it that's exciting okay let me find a good spot to show you it might be easier from the top um okay so if you take a look, okay, you see those dotted lines there. Um, that is the new perforated cover and it goes, I measured this in a video. It's four inches or 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So you can kind of see it right there where that cross line is. And the nice thing is that it is sturdy enough that um, it's not tearing just because I pulled it back. Like, and even if I'm just kind of tugging at it, it's not tearing on its own so if you don't want to use the perforated sections you don't have to um, but if you wanted to you just give it a good tug and it just pulls so I like that we have the option um, and it is over the whole thing but yeah I was like I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling a texture <laughs> but what is it so anyway back to where we're gonna find the special drills okay so I see some of the tangerine orange AB over here I see more of the pink fairy dust along here and then the orangish AB right here and then I see the orangish red and the tangerine orange AB is both in here and I see um, the indigo AB right here, more of both of the shades of orange and red ABs through here. There's the indigo and the orangish red AB here in these colors. And um, actually some of the indigo AB was down here too. Um, and then oh, over here, this is all white AB. This is white AB. This white in her hair is white AB. This is white AB. Over here in these flowers, we have some of the tangerine orange ABs and a little bit of the pink fairy dust color. And then the ribbon in her hair, the white is white AB. And there's a dot of white AB in her eyes, each of her eyes, <laughs> a little bit of white AB right here as well. So that's where we're gonna find the special drills in this particular kit. Again, this is Peculiar by Sarah Mustafa, and she's she's so sweet and so cute. So love that. The ABs are sparing. The special drills are kind of sparing, which is, I feel like suits this artwork pretty, pretty well. So anyway, let me grab my next Sarah Mustafa kit. And here we have another uh, Sarah Mustafa. This one's called Longing and has just a really, really dreamy and kind of inspired vibe uh, to it. And I just, I love her so much. I love her expression and uh, just the whole sort of vibe of this artwork is very, very much something that I, I love. Uh, it's kind of round shaped diamonds. 
it's gonna be 55.8 by 64 centimeters. And if you notice, I have been pre-cutting these open just to streamline a little bit. <laughs> um, here is the logbook sticker. And as far as the toolkit goes, let's see. It's like a mystery, it's like a blind box. Okay, here's the washi tape. And, ooh, okay. Here's a cover binder. Pretty like pale yellow flower. Peachy flower, really. Um, okay, so that's our toolkit. <gasps> okay, ooh, that's a vibrant color on the canvas. Wow. Oh, she just is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. That red kind of like took me by surprise, like some of the colors I'm seeing. Um, but I think, I'm hoping it's not gonna look quite as, quite as bold with the colors on. Let me look at the artwork again though. Well, there are some bold reds in there though. I'm curious to see how this one's gonna look when it's done. Okay, this is gonna have one, two, three, four, five ABs again and three fairy dust colors, 59 colors in total. Again, this one's gonna have round diamonds. Here's a look kind of like at the whole canvas. I love, love, love that flower in her hair. I wonder if that one's gonna have some of the special drills in it. Okay, let's take a look though. I've decided I'm just going to deal with repacking these and this is just going to be, I think, less painful to find <laughs> special drills. Okay, so 141, that's our white AB that's going to be in this one. And okay, it's just all one brown color. Here's one of our fairy dust colors, kind of an aqua. We've got another AB, pale yellow, 129. We have a brown AB, 105. Another fairy dust. Is that two blue fairy dust colors? Yeah, so we've kind of an aqua and then more of a blue. And then we have kind of that magenta pink AB and a gray AB again. I think we have both of those in the and the last one, or are they all just running together for me now? <laughs> and then we have this kind of off-white fairy dust color. All right, as far as where we're gonna find those. Okay, so um, we have some of that like grayish AB. Oh, you're a little out of frame, sorry. Grayish AB down here and the, is that like a pale pink AB? It's already out of, left my head. Okay, sorry. It's the brown AB. <laughs> I'm like, did I just skim right past this one? I might have. Okay, so the brown AB. There's some of the brown AB here. Uh, then I see, okay. These are symbols for the fairy dust colors. Okay. Um, I see there's a little dot of that pinkish magenta AB right here. And more of the brown AB right here. And then over here I see, um, I think that's gonna be the lighter blue fairy dust is all through over here and up here and kind of the blue, a lot of the blue in the background. There's some of the gray AB right here and uh, some of the magenta pink, pink AB right here. And then over here we have a lot of the white AB. This is all the white you're seeing is white AB. Um, and then there is some of the darker blue fairy dust color um, as well as, where's that off-white fairy dust? That's what I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss. Okay, so some of that off-white fairy dust color is these dots that you're seeing here in her hair piece. Then we have some of the brown AB in here um, and some of the darker blue fairy dust as well. And then some of the magenta pink AB is in there. There continues to be lots of white AB. The white that's kind of haloing behind her, because she's got that like sunlight behind her, is white AB. And then we have the letter E over here is the light blue fairy dust. And then this is the darker blue fairy dust here and here. Then we have some of the pale yellow AB going through her hair here. And um, a little bit of the pale yellow AB over here as well. In her eyes, we have a little bit of the gray AB I see in there. And... I think that that covers the majority of it. 
<laughs> um, yeah, so this is Longing by Sarah Mustafa and has a nice set of ABs, just kind of adding some to some of the kind of accents around her. And I think it's gonna look really nice with this one too. I'm curious to see how this looks with especially those bright reds and colors. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna come together really well. So, all right, let me go ahead and grab my last my third Sarah Mustafa kid last but not least from Sarah Mustafa I have springtime blossoms this one's also going to have round drills um I feel like yeah her kits tend to be be charted with round drills from Diamond Art Club 55.8 by 70.6 centimeters is that like nearly the same size as the others um this is just a really really beautiful kit again I just I love how she draws female characters and uh the sort of feeling that she gives to the piece I am just I'm very very drawn to it um and I feel like uh she does she does do some fan art if you go to her Instagram but I, I looked up this one and it's not I don't believe marked as any sort of fan art but I will tell you that it does remind me of um it reminds me of the character Elaine from A Court of Florence and Roses uh it just it, it definitely strongly reminds me of that so uh, I see I got a flat very appropriately you guys got this flower cover minder with this particular kit and we have some more floral well, like yeah kind of floral washi tape so there's our toolkit our prizes with this one <laughs> and let's see this kit do we think this one is also going to have five ABs let's take a look okay Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> there's this, again, with the lighting effects that Sarah Mustafa does with her artwork, I feel like sometimes it looks almost startling um, as far as like how it looks on the canvas, but you, I feel like you have to trust the process with these kits. Um, even stepping back like this, it, it does, I feel like, come together and the colors do make more sense. But if you look at just how Sarah Mustafa uses lighting and kind of does this interesting... I'm not an artist, I'm not, certainly not a digital artist, to sort of give these an effect that's almost kind of bending um, the light and the spectrum. So this is the original artwork of Springtime Blossoms. We're gonna have 65 colors, looks like two fairy dust, and one, two, three ABs in this one. Here is the canvas, love all the little flowers. Um, I was trying to feel, does this one, I, now I'm checking, like, do any of these others have perforated cover, covers that I'm missing? Mine does not. They'll be phasing those perforated covers in gradually, though. And let's look at the colors. We'll find the special drills. Right, so here is the color spread. Yeah, not a kit you would expect to have those reds in there but it helps bring the colors and make them make sense with the lighting. Here's our first fairy dust color. It's a blue Z3766. Okay. How, what do we have two fairy dust? Yeah, it looks like a blue and then maybe a green fairy dust. And our first AB, 129 is a pale yellow. And then 124, a pale pink. I am zipping through these, so I apologize if you're actually trying to catch the colors. <laughs> 65 colors, this has a lot of color for a kit this size too, I think. Can you see? Okay, orange, there's our other AB. Just a little bit of that one. And we should have, I think a fairy dust, a gray, a green, there we go. This kind of lime green fairy dust, Z907. As far as where we're gonna find those special drills, there's actually not a white AB in this one, which I feel like there have been in some of the last ones. Um, down here, you guys, the brightest green you see is our green fairy dust color. I see our pale yellow AB and that um, orangish AB in here. Um, and then the pink AB over here as well. There's green fairy dust over here. Okay, that blue fairy dust, that's the symbol, okay. Just make sure I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, more of the green fairy dust and the bright green over here as well as some of the yellow ABs. And there's, yeah, a lot of this kind of that bright green color is the green fairy dust. There's some of the blue fairy dust coming in over here as well as over here there's blue fairy dust. Green fairy dust and blue fairy dust over here. I love fairy dust drills, seriously, <laughs> they're so pretty. We have the uh, some of the orange AB and the yellow AB over here as well as more green fairy dust and a little bit of the pink AB. 
um, more of the pink AB here and here, and some of the blue fairy dust here. Yellow ABs coming along up here, as well as some pink ABs. It's, yeah, in the Sarah Mustafa pieces, those special drills, I feel like you're going to see in those special lighting effects. We have both pink, pale pink and pale yellow ABs up here, and the yellow ABs here. There's some green fairy dust right here. Yes, in her, kind of what looks like it's almost in her hair. Um, the side of this flower over here actually has a lot of blue fairy dust going up it, kind of highlighting along the sides and around here. And let me see, there's a little bit of blue fairy dust in her eyes, actually. That's gonna be really pretty. Hopping over to this side of the canvas, I see some green fairy dust and then some blue fairy dust in these flower petals. And then up here, we do have some pink ABs and some of the orange AB is over here along with the green and blue fairy dust colors, green fairy dust here green fairy dust, yellow ABs, and then these flowers and this butterfly have lots of blue fairy dust in them and some highlighting being done with the yellow ABs. There's some yellow ABs along here as well. It's pretty, this one's kind of confetti heavy, especially in those areas where we have like the flowers and some of those other like lighting effects and accents. Those have what looks like to me to be a lot of confetti, but then we do have some color blocking like in the tones in her face and a little bit in the background and whatnot. So this is uh, Springtime Blossoms from Sarah Mustafa. And I have, we have three more to go, you guys. Let me grab the next one. All right, so Chris Abug actually had a few releases during Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend, and I had sneak peek unboxings for a couple of them. This is one that I picked up on Cyber Monday, and it's called Freya by, by Chris Abug. So uh, this one is actually on the smaller side. It might be the smallest of the kits that I got, 42.6 uh, by 66 centimeters. And who doesn't love a slightly smaller size uh, kit to work on every once in a while? Because I'll tell you what, it's really easy to accumulate these these big ends so <laughs> there's our washi actually that's really pretty washi tape Ooh. rolling away and then our cover minder is another one of these kind of peachy flowers cute i like that one there's our original artwork again take a gander It's so little. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little and adorable. Small but mighty. Oh, that's cute. Like, this is Norse goddess Freya, by the way. She's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Those colors are beautiful. How many shades of pink is that going to be? There's our original artwork. Um, it looks like 57 colors, including there's going to be a fairy dust and three ABs in this one. And Chris Buck's another one of those. She's just one of my favorite artists with Diamond Art Club. She makes amazing artwork and it looks so good with Diamond Art Club's style. So there's the canvas. And you guys, I see, I see some loose drills in this one. Like, ooh, I think one just fell out. Um, so I'm going to proceed with caution here. That's going to be one of our AB colors. Is there? Yeah, there's a 141. It's a white AB. I see it. I wonder if there's like a slash in it. Okay, I'm not going to take all these out because I don't want to like make a huge mess right now. Um, however, I will just go ahead and comment and say that this is the sort of thing that if for some reason I don't have enough in this color to complete this kit that I can let Diamond Art Club know and they will send me out replacements. But this is 141, that's our AB. And conveniently, our fairy dust color is this really pretty pale gray, almost a hint of lavender to it. And then our other ABs, I see there's a yellow AB right there, you guys. That pale yellow, we've had that in a, that in a few kits so far. And then there should be a, oh, I see the red one. Okay. I hope it's okay that I'm not pulling out all the colors in this one, you guys. But there's our red AB. It's kind of a cherry red. So that will be future Katie's problem. <laughs> uh, so, oh my gosh, those colors though. Did I really give you a good look at the colors? Kind of. Lots of pretty pale neutrals and kind of earth tones, I feel like. Uh, so we had the gray fairy dust, we had white, yellow, and red ABs. So over here, what are these critters? I love mythology, but I have not read up on what these little critters are. They look like little wolves or little wolf cats. I'm gonna have to go look it up after this. Uh, but in here, 
all of this color and then a lot of the color over here is the gray fairy dust color it's yeah doing a lot of, it's got some shimmer to these little creatures the white you're seeing is the white ab color and then we have a little bit of pale yellow ab's in the centers of the their eyes these little dots you see in the background a lot of that is actually white ab or gray fairy dust there's some gray fairy dust there and then roll this back i want to be able to see <laughs> a lot of the red markings on her face are that cherry red ab that we saw it's in her eyeshadow and then her face markings here and a little bit in her lips um, there is just a couple of dots of this white ab here but i think that's kind of the the magic motes that are kind of coming through and then her hair all of this white is white ab and then uh, there's a big chunk of this background that is the gray fairy dust color I'm looking to see, did I miss any more of the yellow AB? Number two, I just saw it in the middle of this guy's eyes. I mean, that could be it. I just, I'm just taking a close look as I glance through. Um, and then this guy over here, lots of white ABs here, and then lots of gray fairy dust doing some highlighting in his fur or her fur or their fur too as well as over on this side um and then there's some gray fairy dust it's kind of this color in between the light blue and the darker blues there's lots of gray fairy dust there and then some white in the like i guess like just magic effect back here i love this i love this a lot more than i expected to that's so 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 pretty and i bet that these colors over here are just going to be really really pretty so this was freya uh by chris Abug from diamond art club and we have two more to go so let me grab the next one here we have rainbow dragon hugging cat by dragons and beasties you guys i feel like we had a really cute dragons and beasties released last black friday and i just i'm a huge sucker I actually i love this company um a lot i have a lot of their merch and everything like they have really cute enamel pins and, like bags and stuff and little like um little figurines and stuff that i collect and so i'm a fan of uh, of them licensing with diamond art club and the pieces they have there so this was too cute to resist uh it's we're gonna have round diamonds 55.8 by 83.8 centimeters and um i just i love their their partnership with diamond art club it's it's so fun and i hope it continues we haven't seen a ton from them at diamond art club but you know slow but steady diamond art club's got a lot of artists <laughs> it's i don't blame them um as far as our prizes oh look at that cute strawberry that's adorable i don't know if i've seen that one certainly not in person and then there's our washi tape a print i haven't seen either and then here's our logbook sticker a little mint look at the canvas i i want to see i want to see what kind of special drills they put in this one i don't know i don't think i watched this the sneak peek unboxing for this one ahead of time Ooh, look at that pink in the background <laughs> and then the rainbow oh my gosh how cute oh my gosh stop it <laughs> and it's so happy all the rainbow of colors oh my gosh 47 colors i was thinking like oh it's got so many colors in it it's going to be even more kind of colorful than that but no, just, just 47, that's like low for our kits tonight. They're so cute, oh my gosh. Here's a bigger look at the original artwork. Oh, I love it. Uh, looks like four ABs in this one and two fairy dust. Let's, let's find them. No spilled drills in this one. There's our color spread. There's just a loose pack of um, that wasn't attached of yellow. Looks like here's our lime green fairy dust color. And then here's our white fairy dust color. I'm not pulling these ones out. And then we have a pale, because I'm finding them quickly. <laughs> okay. So there's our pale pink AB. Here's a blue AB. Here, here's kind of a cherry red with a hint of orange AB. How much should the other one be? Um, either red or true orange. That's the tangerine orange, it's right there. So a decent amount of these different special drill colors, actually. I love that. Okay, let's find them on the canvas. Um, 
So, okay, these white outlines of flowers you see in the background, that is white fairy dust. Then we have some of the pink AB down in the colors. It's the lightest pink that's on here. And then um, it goes from the, the white doing the outlining to the pink AB doing the outlining in these flowers. That's gonna have a really pretty, a pretty look, I think. And then we have some of the tangerine orange ABs and the orange colors here, and some of the cherry red ABs as well. And I see some of the blue ABs and uh, some of the green fairy dust. Of course, like this dream, this dragon. Um, is it Zen? I think is the name of this dragon. Um, is wait, is this Zen? I'm blanking. It doesn't. No, this isn't Zen. This is a different one. Anyway, yes, their dragons have names, but <laughs> lots of rainbow colors. Of course, it's gonna have lots of special drills in here. I see orange ABs, red ABs, um, blue ABs over here, and then a bunch of green fairy dust here and here. Uh, white fairy dust. Oh, this is the cat's paws and belly and tail. <laughs> That's white fairy dust. Uh, and then orange ABs and red ABs over here. Green fairy dust, blue ABs. Oh my gosh. And this looks like a color blocking dream. This has tons and tons of color blocking in it. This would go by fast. Man, okay, I was not expecting to love the love this kit so much. much. Um, I'm not that shocked, but I like, I'm like, oh, I wanna work on this right away. Red ABs, all of the white in the cat is white fairy dust. We have some orange ABs in the cat's fur here and on the cat's head up here. Uh, white fairy dust in the cat's ears. Uh, let me see, blue ABs all over here. This blue color in the background is all blue ABs. And there's a couple of dots of white fairy dust here and there. Some blue ABs over here, as well as some green fairy dust, more blue ABs, more green fairy dust, red and orange ABs all through here. Um, white fairy dust in these outlines and these kind of like dots here in the background. Um, the only kind of AB we're missing is like a yellow AB. I was going to say, is any of this AB? No, but the white you're seeing in all the, all the white outlining is white fairy dust. And that top right corner is all white fairy dust as well. Love it. Love it. Love it. You guys, this is so cute. And again, I think it's going to go really fast. It looks like it has tons and tons of color blocking. Uh, so this is rainbow dragon hugging cat. This is number nine of 10. We have one to go and it's a big one. So let me go ahead and grab that. Very last kit I have to share with you guys is called song of the moon by miss Holly. And this is the biggest one that I'm sharing with you guys tonight. 99 by 70 centimeters. It is a big one, but I love the artwork from Miss Holly and I have all, I think three of the kits that Diamond Art Club has released from her so far. Um, this is one, I will be totally honest with you guys, this was a spontaneous purchase from me and I'm a little bit uncertain if I am gonna feel like I wanna keep it because I tend to shy away from really large kits, but I'm hoping that taking a look at the canvas with you guys is gonna sway me the other direction. <laughs> So as far as our washi tape and minder, we've got a pink macaron and another floral washi tape. That's like the really prevalent theme with the washi tape is it's florals, lots of florals. <laughs> Here's the logbook sticker. Let's look at the canvas itself. Um, this is, the artwork is just, is really, really pretty. And I think is very, um, looks like it's been beautifully rendered. It's just, it's, this one's big, you guys. This is, this is huge. 70 by 99. But look at how amazing that looks. Wow. Dang, you guys. Okay. Uh, all of a sudden, it actually doesn't look nearly as intimidating because that's a color blocking dream. The windows are color blocking dream. Looks like we'll have some confetti in this background, but like, look at that moon. Look at the hanging flowers. More of those kind of windows over here. And these bunnies are, they are really ridiculously adorable. This is gorgeous. This is really, really gorgeous. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. I don't, I'm looking at this, I'm going, oh, all the color blocking means it's not really, it's not really 99 by 70 centimeters, is it? <laughs> Let's shave some of it off. There's that original artwork, all those purples. 52 colors in this one. It looks like three fairy dust colors and three ABs. So pretty. Yeah, okay, 52 colors. Not bad for this size, really. Look at this big bag of diamonds. Do you like purple? Because <laughs> you're gonna need to for this one. Um, 
let me let me see if I can find these special drills without having to unpack this entire thing and pull everything out. Oh, well, you know what? It just unrolled itself. So we're just going to go with it <laughs> and it'll make it easier to find the drills anyway. You can look at all these purples while we're at it. Oh, there we go. There's our first fairy dust color. It's kind of a lavender purple, a little bit darker than lavender. Two big bags, that Z554. Some 310. Ooh, little straggler pack. Two bags of 124, a pale pink AB. We had three of each, right? Yeah, three ABs, three fairy dust. Okay. Some browns, lots of browns. Lots and lots of purples, okay. And more 310 actually in that strand. Uh, tons of this bluish purple. Yeah, a ton, dang. Uh, we have a bag of 141, there's our next AB. It's a white AB. And those colors. And then these colors we have just the smallest bit of. So here's another fairy dust color. It's kind of a pink, a darker pink color. And then we have this pale grayish blue fairy dust. So pretty. Is there one more AB? Yeah, there we go. It is a blue AB. So three fairy dust and three ABs. Now let's see, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know if I should have saved the, the last, can, the biggest canvas for last. I'm afraid that it's going to feel like my energy is just gone for this one. So I apologize. I'm not doing this canvas justice. Uh, okay. So I see white ABs over here as well as our um, bluish fairy dust color. And then, look, okay, that's the, that's the purplish one. Um, that is the symbol. Okay, so we have that yeah, bluish gray fairy dust in the bunny and the white ABs in the bunny. And the strings of this instrument have white ABs. We have white ABs highlighting on basically all of the bunnies. And then we have that like grayish, um, grayish blue AB, or sorry, fairy dust in the bunnies too. Same as over here. And the so some of the strings, like the white is white AB, but then there's this really nice pale pink color that is um, it's kind of a palish pinkish purple, I think was the, the fairy dust color is, are, are these strings over here? And then we have the pink AB actually through the instrument over here. And then if we hop over to this side, okay, these bunnies again have white ABs for the highlighting and that grayish blue fairy dust color. There's some pink AB over here as well. And then there's some pink AB on her hand where the moonlight's kind of hitting it. What's the, there's another fairy dust color that I'm missing. It's the pink, the actual kind of darker pink one. Okay, I see it here is the darker pink fairy dust color. So I know I'm missing something. I found it. <laughs> uh, there's also the darker pink fairy dust color in the flowers on what she's wearing. I think it's a kimono, but again, I don't want to misname um, the wardrobe when I'm not 100% sure. There's white ABs over here, and then there's kind of the pale lavender fairy dust in here. A little bit of pink AB right here. And then over here, this color in the, in the window is all pink AB, lots of color blocked pink AB next to, um, I think it's like a lavender pink fairy dust color. I love fairy dust next to ABs. I think it looks really pretty. Now the one one color that I haven't found yet is uh, the blue AB and it turns out it's here on the tops of these. I'm not sure if these are stones or bushes here in the background. I think maybe they're stones. There's blue AB on those. And then these petals drifting down have pink ABs and the darker pink fairy dust in them. The, uh, this headpiece, the flower over here, has pink ABs, white ABs, and the dark pink fairy dust through throughout. And the moon, of course, 
is made up of white ABs. And then we have some pink and white ABs and a lot of these hanging flowers and some of the darker pink fairy dust too. It's just gonna give it a little bit of extra shine. Again, imagining like how, uh, where the light is reflecting off of. That is really where we're gonna see those special drills uh, shining, for lack of a better term, pun intended. So this is the absolutely beautiful Song of the Moon, and I think is gonna be, I've said it about all these kits, but I mean it. I think it's gonna be so, so, so pretty completed, like with drills, and I think it's gonna, this one's gonna be a showstopper. So um, I'm gonna pack this up and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we made it. If you made it all the way to the end and enjoyed going on this journey with me, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had so much fun getting into each of these kits and finding out where those special drills are gonna go, seeing how the canvas is gonna look. And I hope that you found it fun and helpful and you know maybe add some of these to your wish list or your shopping list. Um, I know some of these are out of stock at this point. A few I'm guessing we'll see restocked because they were so popular. Uh, but if, if not, you can always check in D-Stash Facebook, Facebook groups. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, you can sign up for a back in stock notification and hopefully, hopefully they'll be back soon. But you guys, this was my Cyber Monday and Black Friday haul from Diamond Art Club. 10 kits in addition to the ones that I sneak peeked. They just, they released 125 kits over the two, those two days and I was just in trouble. I'm like, well, yeah, this is percentage wise. It's not not too bad, I guess, but let me know, you guys. Did you pick up any of these kits for yourself over uh, the Black Friday weekend with Diamond Art Club or are any of them on your wish list? Uh, what were your favorites? Um, I I just really, I can't I can't pick favorites. <laughs> they, they all made me so happy. And some were ones that were very long awaited, like Margaret Morales and um, Stephanie Marie. And of course, I always love Sarah Mustafa and Chris Buck. So it's just like, all of it was good. All of it was good. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see reviews, tutorials, unboxings, all the things from me. I'd love to have you here. But otherwise, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you have a day and a week that is as amazing as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.